All right, in this video, we're going to look at some examples of adding and subtracting fractions. And to add or subtract fractions, we have to have common denominators. We need to have the same number in the bottom part of the fraction. And if that happens, well, then we just do the, the arithmetic in the numerator. So a over c plus b over c, we just do the arithmetic a plus b all over c. And likewise, if it's subtraction, we just do a minus b all over c. If you don't have uh, common denominators, you'll have to make common denominators appear. But in these first examples here, I think everything should work out without too much trouble. So we have 4 over 11 minus 3 over 11. Again, we have the same number in the denominator. Uh, so we just do the arithmetic in the numerator. So 4 minus 3 will leave us with 1 over 11. The same thing happens if you have multiple fractions. Again, as long as you have the same denominator. So in this case, we would get 7 plus 4 plus 3, again, all being divided by 10. So let's see, 7 plus 4 is 11, plus 3 is going to be 14 over 10. And I can reduce that, so I'm going to, they're both even, so if we divide top and bottom by 2, that'll leave us with 7 over 5. And I'm going to leave it uh, as a fraction. I'm not going to write it as a mixed number. Here we have 8 and 3 fourths minus 3 and 1 fourth. Different ways you can do this. Um, you could just subtract the whole numbers and subtract the fractions. Um, in general, uh, I tend to, you know, and this is probably a bit, um, you know, too much for this problem. Again, we could just do 8 minus 3, which would be 5. 3 fourths minus 1 fourth. Well, that would be 3 minus 1 or 2 fourths. So that would be one way to do it. I have a tendency to always just turn them back into fractions. So 4 times 8 is 32, plus 3 is 35 over 4. Uh, 4 times 3 is 12, plus 1 is 13. And now we can do the subtraction. Uh, 35 minus 13, that's going to leave us with 22 over 4, which again reduces, they're both even, into 11 over 2, which if we made it into a mixed number, that is 5 and 1 half. So... Um, in general, um, I do this method just because, uh, you know, some weird things can happen with the fractions. I'll put it that way. Um, you know, you may end up with a fraction over 1, and then you have to carry a digit to the whole number. Um, things of this nature. So, in general, um, you're going to see me do this method. Although, in some cases, you can just... Well, really, in all cases, you can just do this subtraction or addition normally. But you have to be a little careful. I guess what I'm trying to say is maybe if you had 8 and 3 fourths plus, you know, 5 and another 3 fourths. In this case, you know, if you add the whole numbers, 8 and 5 is going to give you 13. And then you would do 3 fourths and 3 fourths, which would give you um, 6 fourths. So that would be, you know, so you would have 13. And really you would have another 6 fourths, which you would have to turn into 1 and a half, etc. Okay, so maybe more than you wanted to hear, but I'm going to, uh, to uh, kind of deal with these situations. You'll see me just write things um, as fractions from the beginning. It may take an extra step or two, but not the end of the world.